in the Alps. The prosecutor on the case says there is evidence of automatic gunfire in the wooded area where four people were found dead. One of the victims, a cyclist. The other three were from Britain on a family camping trip and their two young girls somehow survived. CNN's Dan Rivers is in Claygate, England, outside the home of one of the men believed to have been killed in that attack. He joins us now live. This was a particularly gruesome affair, the middle of the afternoon, a very quiet part of France. Absolutely, yeah. You couldn't get a kind of more uh, quintessential English uh, suburb uh, than Claygate. This is the house of uh, Sardel Killy, uh, who worked as a satellite engineer. We understand more on the sort of design side for a uh, satellite firm uh, in uh, Surrey, the county here, uh, and real shock amongst his uh, neighbours and friends here that uh, this terrible shooting uh, has happened to the family. We, we spoke to one neighbour who described them as a nice, quiet family. They'd known them for 10 to 15 years uh, and uh, just can't really believe what's happened. The, the, the French prosecutor, Eric uh, Mayo, has been giving more details about uh, what appears to have happened. Uh, as you said, basically, the, the, the two girls have survived. Uh, one uh, injured in hospital but will uh, make it. Uh, the, the younger one, a four-year-old, was in the car uh, undiscovered for a number of hours because they sort of sealed off the scene. Uh, she is being described as in a deep state of sadness and despair and is receiving psychiatric uh, care. There's no real sense of what the motive is uh, to all this, uh, but the more we kind of learn about this, the more this sounds uh, like a kind of execution style uh, killing. A, a cyclist uh, was uh, also killed. Now, we, the police have, and prosecutors have pointed out in France that it's not clear whether uh, the cyclist was the intended victim and the family were in the wrong place at the wrong time or if the family were the intended victim and the cyclist was in the wrong, time, wrong place at the wrong time. But um, what, what, what certainly is clear, this is a, a, a real terrible tragedy uh, for uh, the friends and relatives uh, of the Al-Hili family. Saad Al-Hili, we understand, had been in Britain, uh, born in Iraq, but been in Britain since uh, 2002 uh, and um, obviously everyone is uh, just very shocked and still taking in the news here in Claygate. Mm. And, and, and Dan, we, uh, you mentioned the news conference there by the French authorities. Uh, we're just going to run a little bit of that, some sound there, describing the little girl uh, who was found. Let's hear it. So we discovered this little girl who was completely immobile en fait terrée dans and le véhicule, who derrière le was stuck in the vehicle in the back seat on the legs of one of the dans un environnement de sac de voyage extrêmement important, totalement invisible, muette. Ce qui explique que personne ne l'a vu avant, elle a 4 ans et elle est d'un petit gabarit. Euh, elle est aussitôt évidemment prise en charge. And she was clearly taken care of immediately by the investigators who took care of her security, her safety, examined her. But physically, she is going, she is very, she is fine. You don't have to guess how she is psychologically, but she was happy to have been found by the inquirers. As you pointed out, uh, Dan, you know, a real mystery at the moment. Motive, uh, obviously, it's early days in the investigation. But uh, talk again about that little girl. She sat there in that car for hours. Explain why. Well, uh, it seems she was cowering under the body of her mother, what appears to be her mother, and a bag, we were told, uh, and was missed initially. She was sort of frozen with fear, really. Uh, the initial uh, police response didn't pick her up in the car. They quickly sealed off the scene, waiting for forensics uh, teams to arrive. Uh, and it was only when they went to start uh, making inquiries at the campsite where the family was staying that they were told that there were, in fact, two children uh, in the family. Uh, and that's what prompted them then to, to go back and check more closely and that was when they discovered her alive in the back of the car, uh, and she'd been there for some hours, obviously incredibly traumatized with what, what had happened. Uh, we haven't had any details as to where uh, she's been taken. Uh, and there's also some um, confusion about the, the way that her mother uh, died. We're told the, the other three adults uh, had bullet wounds to their faces or heads. Uh, the fourth person, the mother, um, unsure of how she died, and they seem to be suggesting there was no apparent uh, bullet wound, but we'll, we'll hope to get more clarity from the uh, French authorities uh, 
as they look into this, they're describing this as a horrific and savage act. Yeah, Dan, thanks so much, sir, for following this for us. Dan Rivers there reporting.